film a little uh, drill. Um, and really, the reason I'm filming this drill is I was talking to some guys about locking, and, and they were talking about, well, we prefer to hit instead of lock because uh, hitting is so much faster than locking. Well, sp speed isn't everything. For instance, uh, you can't shoot fast, you can't miss fast enough to win. So it's not just hitting, you know, you got to have some control in there too. So um, when you are just punching or hitting and things like that, you miss a great deal of time. If you can grab the guy and control him a little bit and hit him, you're going to hit more often and more successfully. Um, so, um, so I think there's merit to that, gaining control of your partner. Also, uh, there's two different uh, things. There's, there's locking to submission, and then there's breaking. And now if we're talking about a street context, I don't believe in the, con in the concept of submission. Uh, the real, what am I going to do? I'm going to take the guy down, I'm going to put him in an arm bar, and I'm holding him until the cops get there? I mean, that's not always practical. Uh, I'm holding him while I'm waiting for the cops and his buddies to go get something out of the truck and come pipe me in the back of the head. Or, um, you know, I'm going to hold him and then I'm going to try and get my phone out and call for help. Or I'm going to hold him until he says, okay, I give up, you won. And then I'm going to let the guy up and he's going to come up with a rock in his hand and put it in my eye. So when it comes to street application, things like that, I really don't think that lock to submission is a valid argument. Um, now, if you're dealing with someone who's a family member, obviously there's a place for that. You know, if, if your grandpa gets a little rowdy or something, you know. But, uh, you know, I, I really believe that when it comes to this, it's breaking. It's volley. It's breaking. So, uh, and those breaks should be dynamic and fast. They should be just as fast as you're hitting. Um, you know, it should just be pop and then right back, to, right back to punching. And you shouldn't break and stop. You should break into more hitting. And, uh, and then you get something else and you break it off and you go back to more hitting until there's nothing left to hit or break. So this is a drill that uh, I believe will teach some some trapping to, to, to locking kind of things in a little different format, a little bit in a more Indonesian Filipino format than what most people have seen uh, from the JKD family. But it's nothing special, but uh, you know, I like the drill and I hope, hopefully you'll benefit from it. So it starts off like this. Give me a punch and I'm going to do a, a, a split entry. I'm going to outside I'm going to cover the second hand. Uh, now if his hand was down and didn't seem to be a threat, meaning it wasn't digging in his pocket or reaching his waistband, it just kinda, he just kind of headed out there and popped one off at me, then I would go ahead and punch him in the face. But if he has his hand up, I'm going to have him put his hand down here so it doesn't hurt him. If you have his hand up and I think it might be an issue, it might come towards me, then I'm going to go ahead and, paw, uh, and smack him here really good. I'm going to drive a nail through that and come at his back. That's the direction of force there. So you're like this, boom, like that. should disrupt his balance here. Now on the way out, I'm going to hit this muscle and do a good thing on the way out. So it comes here like that and comes back over the top like that. Okay? So it goes one and a half, two. So this is one and this is two. But my, my gunting here is a half beat, like that. Now when he gets this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach up and hit line or, or lops out, depending on the system that you're talking about, and I'm just going to pull this and turn my whole body and turn that into my arm wrench. Okay? Now if I were just going to take that one element, I would go here, 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 and back into my hitting. So I wouldn't really, uh, I wouldn't really just go bang and then step back, you know. Uh, I'm going to hit, boom, and then as soon as I get this wrench, boom, I go right back into hitting, you know. that's. That's the idea. I don't stop there, uh, which can be the, the misleading idea and training concepts to lock the submission. So I go here, here. So this is two, this is three. And I turn my whole body into his arm wrench. From here, I'm going to back fist it. I'm going to assume that maybe this didn't quite work. So I'm going to back fist him. He's going to pick that up. I'm going to roll that one into this arm bar or this arm wrench. Okay, just like so. Okay, so from the beginning, he goes one and a half, two, three, four. Now, right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my left hand. Support important to use your left hand. And as I use my left hand, this right hand is going to start covering into my elbow to the sternum or to the face or the arm. I prefer the center line somewhere. So I scoop that out and I drive it in here. And I'm doing that because I know that if I just go like this, he's going to hook me. Okay? And if I throw it and try to hit him with this hand, he'll hook me there. I'll be, I'll be looking at this double knockout, which will look great on YouTube, but let's, let's not do that today. So I'm going to scoop that here, his covering, bang, drive that in there, and it covers his hook. From here, I'm going to turn. As I turn, this is automatically here, and my left hand is going to elbow across the sternum into the solar plexus here, and I'm going to go to the next arm wrench right here. Okay, so from the beginning, one and a half, two, three, four, five, six, wrench is seven. Okay, now from here, we're going to change places. From here, what I'm going to do is with my left hand, the hand that's up, I'm going to use that to pull, and this right hand slips right under and hits him in an uppercut like that. Okay? Now from here, when I get this, boom, I would like to hold this position all day and just work him. 
But right here, he tries to punch me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hack into this forearm right here. Okay? And it's really, really painful. Uh, so I'm going to hack down into that, and then I'm going to thumb him in the eye. Okay? I can just knuckle him and punch him again, but thumb in the eye is real fast. So it comes in, bang, bang, like that. And then he tries to do it again, and I'm going to hack down. This time we're going to assume I hacked a little harder, and he gets his hand over the top. I'm going to lift my right hand up, throw this out of the way, and I'm coming to basically a reference position. From here, I'm going to trap the arm down and go to the forearm to the neck. When he catches my, uh, the reason I'm forearming instead of back thing is because then he'll have my hand. I go to forearm him, and there my hand's still sticking out here, and it can just change targets. So I go from going towards the, to the neck to the arm, and I'm just going to pop that in a real quick little arm wrench like that. Now, uh, he doesn't really like that. He's going to push on my elbow, and I'm just going to roll that into your classic armpit arm bar. Again, he's trying to counter that. He pushes on my arm. I'm going to grab that and uppercut elbow right here. He's going to catch that. Okay? So as he catches this here, my hands are going to be underneath. and just swings. And I'm going to tuck this with my right hand now. I'm going to tuck this under my right armpit. And I'm going to turn. I'm going to punch over the top, under the bottom, over the top. Okay? So let's change that from here. So I was in my armpit arm bar here. He pushes on my elbow. Armpit arm bar. He pushes on my elbow here. I clean out my left hand. I elbow, uppercut elbow, he catches it. Now my right hand is low, swings under the arm, swings it over here into my control position. You either have to be above, just above the elbow or slide all the way down to the wrist. You have to have one of those two. Okay? From here, I'm going to punch over. I'm aiming for the hinge of his jaw, just like inside Kali Phase 2. I'm aiming for the hinge of the jaw. I'm going to do it palm strikes or I can do it with knuckles. Okay? Hinge of the jaw, uppercut, and corkscrew this up with your knuckles, and then back over the top. Now, once you get over the top, I'm going to turn my hand and put it palm up like this. And my elbow is down between his shoulder and his elbow. And now I'm going to tie that together in a bandak, in a body, body control lock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip this backwards. Okay? And when I whip this, this is by pulling my elbow down and back. Now what that does is that really gets his body going that way for me. Right when his body starts going that way, I'm going to turn it and elbow wrench that across my body right here. So I get him going backwards one direction, and then I'm just going to turn real quick and jerk it, and that causes that fulcrum right there. As soon as he starts to come forward, I'm switching to a transition to what we call an outside wrist lock. Okay? And I just use my hand here and go that way. So the idea here is I get him riled up a little bit, work him, and then just jerk him one direction, then break the arm in the other direction, and the wrist in the other direction. And that's the idea. So this is, a, this is the traffic to locking flow. So it goes like this, here, wrench here, Wrench here, scoop, he hooks, I cover, this arm cleans it out, elbow, wrench here, scoop to my uppercut, boom, he hits me, I hat down, thumb the eye, hat down, he punches over the top, lift and clear, forearm to the neck, pop the elbow, he pushes on my elbow here, roll the arm to the arm bar, he pushes on my elbow again, clear uppercut elbow, right hand underneath, swings, punch over, under, over. Clamp down. This elbow is going to be tight to your body, so when you rotate your body, it moves him. Okay? One more time from this side. Okay, so that you can get all the variations of angle here. So it goes one and a half, two. And if, like I said, as soon as I get that, boom, that's where it's at. Pop him back in the face. He's catch that. That's good. Boom, back here. He goes to hook me. Elbow, elbow. Left hand's underneath. Swing it. Corkscrew that in. He punches, hack, thumb the eye, hack, punches over the top. Catch. Forearm, it's already here in the position for arm wrench. Okay, so from here, he pushes on my arm, I roll it to armpit arm bar. He pushes to clear that off, lops out, uppercut elbow. Your right hand's here, underneath already, swing it, over, under, over, clamp down, back, forward, to outside wrist line. So that's kind of a, like I said, a flow to teach uh, your, that in the middle of your trapping, your, you can pop those little arm wrenches at any time. And of course, then you take them out and break them into isolations. So let's say I'm doing my basic trap. It. Okay, I go like this. That's kind of how it goes. I go here, boom, like that. So each one of those, I would break down and put in my, in my trapping to make sure that it's, you know, uh, broken and I can find it in the, in the flow. But this drill will teach you how to put it together, how to flow from one to the other, how to recognize those little pops and, and wrenches and uh, in the middle of all that stuff. So. Anyway, hope you guys like it. Thanks, Jerry. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you guys very much.